Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonmoon.com and today I'm going to take you on a tour of our farmhouse and our garden for summer. So things have officially warmed up here where we are. I love summer, it's my favorite season. I just love the freedom of being able to wear a dress and be barefoot and not have to get the kids all bundled up and swimming in the creek. It's just all around my favorite season. There is a lot going on here in our farmhouse. I've been taking you along through changes we've made on the outside of the property on our This Week in the Homestead series. And it's really all starting to come alive in the things that we've planted and then also here in the farmhouse. First of all, I do wanna say thank you to today's video sponsor, Brooke Linen. They have the coziest 100% linen sheets perfect for summertime. We really dialed back on the bedding in our room as we transitioned from winter, spring, and into summertime. We still don't have the air conditioning on in our house just yet. I'm sort of funny about that. I like to prolong that as long as possible, keep the windows open and just enjoy the air flowing through the house until I'm so hot that I can't stand anymore. Currently, right now though, we have to accommodate that. Brought out my linen quilt from Brooklinen. We ditched the duvet insert and brought out some wonderful and breathable linen sheets. They are light and cozy and perfect for those warm summer nights. They're also tested for harmful substances. There's a very strict criteria that they have to go through to be considered safe for you and your family. The linen sheet bundle does allow you to mix and match. So for today's bedroom look, I have the cantaloupe and cream striped sheet set. And then I also paired that with the navy chambray pillow covers. I love that the pillow covers are the envelope style. They go in really easily. Also, the pillows that I have from Brooklinen are super comfortable and fluffy. I do have a duvet cover as well from Brooklinen and I love that it has the ties on all four corners so that my duvet insert stays snug and secure and doesn't move all around. I also do like duvets so that you can take out the insert and just have a nice lightweight linen blanket in the summertime. And then of course, if you get the AC cranking, you can put that back in. We opted to just go with the Brooklinen linen quilt. I like that it looks lightweight. It has that farmhouse charm to it that I love so much in my home. You can use code LISAB20 for $20 off orders of $100 or more. As you know, I love linen bedding because it just has that effortless style and charm to it. I have linen all over our farmhouse in the curtains, in blankets. It just to me is so soft and airy and I love how they age over time and just get more cozy the more you wash them. And so we are definitely enjoying that and I love that I was able to bring in a little bit more color with the peach. It has a summer vibe to it here in our bedroom. I also brought into our summer bedroom several flowers that I cut from outdoors. We now have hydrangeas and roses growing. I'll be taking you on a tour outside in the garden so that you can see that soon. But sunflowers, dahlias, cosmos, it's really starting to get pretty. And this is the season that I love to bring fresh cut flowers in all over the farmhouse. It's one of my favorite things about gardening is the flowers. I also am growing white roses and I put one single stem over in one of my vintage blue pitchers on the other nightstand to bring in a little bit more freshness. Now in the kitchen in our farmhouse, I added some linen curtains to the big window. When you look at our new window that we got in our kitchen renovation, it looks like it needs to be broken up a little bit. Now, I think, like I mentioned in one of my kitchen regrets videos, eventually I need to section it off and make it individual windows rather than one large window. That's something we'll probably do at some point. But for now, I hung a curtain rod and I picked up some beautiful checked linen. It's sort of a cream tan pink-ish color that adds just a little bit of color and also more of that flowy linen that I like so much. And then most of the time my kitchen window is open. I have my window box that we built so I can reach out and grab herbs, smell the flowers, see the kids. As long as it's not super hot and there aren't a million flies, this is how we will operate here. The tutorial for the linen tie top curtains will be coming soon.
on our front porch for summertime, we did several things. So we had some white rocking chairs that we brought over from our last house. And in this house, we have a dog. And he is just now getting through his puppy phase. He's about a year and a half now. And he completely destroyed our white rocking chairs, chewed them all up. He even chewed up the porch, which we'll fix that later. But I was prepared to go buy some new rocking chairs and Luke said, no, I have a plan. So he sanded down all of the spots that he chewed and then he painted it with some fresh white paint. And now they're looking like brand new. So I'm so glad that we restored those because they look so much better. We also took a bench that's been sitting in the red cabin and we put it in the spot just when you walk out of the house to the right. There's a perfect spot there for more seating and we're really enjoying lately mornings out on the porch drinking coffee and we needed more seating out there to really enjoy it. I made a couple of pillow covers for it. The gray and white buffalo check I made several years ago. There is a tutorial for that on the blog. And then I just made the linen ruffle pillow in the navy blue linen. And I love the way that that pairs with the buffalo check. It brings in more linen throughout the house and the color just suits our front porch perfectly. I also took some of our Crocs and added some rocks to the bottoms for drainage and some potting soil and planted them with colorful flowers and vines. And I love to see those bloom and grow throughout the year. We also had the original table that we bought in our Eden kitchen from the previous owners ended up not working just for the size of our family. It sat in the barn for a while and we decided that it would be the perfect wooden table to go on our porch because we don't really have anywhere currently to dine outside. Now we are going to be building a picnic table and I'm looking forward to that. But for now, that really serves as a great way to eat outside. And I love the color of the wood between all of the white. I think it looks really pretty. We also have the porch swing that we built on the far end of the porch as well. And that adds to tons of seating. So we have an official farmhouse front porch sitting kind of porch, so perfect for the summertime to really enjoy those warm days, get yourself a cold drink and really enjoy it. Over in the garden, things are really starting to come alive. We have little pumpkins coming on, zucchini, herbs in great abundance. Just the other day, we were driving to a friend's house to go swimming in their creek. And on the way, this was quite a long drive, there was just a random roadside pile with an old quilt rack. There actually was also a painting and a really nice frame. So of course we stopped. I had been using that quilt rack as my parsley drying station. We have so much parsley in the garden, it's crowding out my time. And this has been a great way to now hang it and dry it so I can preserve it for winter. We also in our garden recently built an arbor and a couple of trellises and a picket fence. So much work going on out there. I love the way that it is all coming together and blossoming into a productive summer garden.
On the side of the barn and in front of the house, we planted hydrangeas and some tea roses. I love the added color that we have now, and I wish we would have planted all of that a lot sooner, but it just makes everything so much prettier and alive. Again, thank you so much to Brook Linen for sponsoring this video. We love our 100% linen sheets. They serve our farmhouse bedroom beautifully and are perfect for those hot summer nights to keep us cool and comfortable. Make sure to visit the link down in the description box below to shop the Brooklyn and products that I have. And don't forget to use code LisaB20 for $20 off orders of $100 or more. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed touring our farmhouse for the summer months, and I hope that you are staying cool and enjoying summer wherever you are. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.